Are you Andy, the guy we just called? Why are you hiding, man? Hey, why are you hiding, man? What are you doing? Go away. No comment. Are you Andy, the guy we were just calling, the emergency maintenance man? Oh my god. I'm out of hey, I, we understand that you can't do anything, but can you give us a number to somebody that can? Tonight, yet another update for the folks still without heat at the Foxcroft apartment complex. Some now without water, too, after their pipes froze. But hope may be on the horizon. This is now our fifth story on the matter, and it's catching the attention of the city, the health department, and an attorney. News Force Kaitor K with tonight's update. Kaitor. The biggest update today is that a local attorney saw News Force coverage of this issue and has decided to represent the tenants of Foxcroft Apartments for free. When it started snowing and the temperatures dropped, it was miserable. Below zero wind chills are freezing the tenants of Foxcroft Apartments. The complex has had no heat at all since September. An anonymous maintenance worker told News 4, Wayner Multifamily manages the complex. He guided us to their office, telling us a regional director of operations drove a white Jeep, which we did see parked in front. Minutes after we knocked on the locked door and left, the white Jeep was moved to the back of the building. Wayner Multifamily later sending News 4 a statement, saying that they only recently started managing the Foxcroft Apartments and that, quote, taking care of our residents is our top priority and we are actively working to remedy the situation. Meanwhile, downtown, attorney Ryan Owens was helping some of the Foxcroft tenants file a class action lawsuit against the complex owner, National Exchange Title Holder 1031, a judge then granting a temporary injunction in favor of the residents. They now have an order from the District Court of Oklahoma County that they can take back to their landlord and say, you have been ordered by the District Court to turn on the heat. And you've been ordered by the court to not evict anyone for not paying rent until this lawsuit is resolved. Owens is taking the case on pro bono. It's unacceptable. I mean, you, one of our plaintiffs uh, says that it got down to 16 degrees in her apartment Saturday night. You can't live like that. Tenant Kathy Chapman, who is currently staying with her sister, is satisfied to see the law helping them. It was ecstatic. I was so, it was, I can't even find the word I'm looking for, but I was very, very happy. Even with this win, the first official court date lies 10 cold days away. I'm dreading it. Owens and his legal team say they've heard from someone representing the apartment owners who claims they've been working with a plumbing company who's been searching for problematic gas leaks for weeks in an attempt to fix the heating failure. The representative also told Owens any tenant that wants to leave Foxcroft can do so and break their lease with no repercussions.